So hello guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to display an mp4 video file in Android Engine 5 and we'll cover two ways to do it. First, we'll display the video right on your screen in the GUI and then show how to display it in the game world like on a television, video wall or any surface that you want. To do this, we'll be using a media player component. I'll guide you through the whole process from setting up the media player to configure the video material so you can get your own videos playing in the game so let's dive in and get started here i have a video file just a simple video and i have to convert this to an audio file first before getting further so here i found this website called convertio.co i will provide the link in the descriptions and here you can just drag the video in and convert this to wav file this is like an audio file it's similar to mp3 but with a higher quality so we can just click convert here wait for it click on download so here i have downloaded the wfe file so make sure that you have the mp4 and the wav file so we can just continue the video so we can just dive into the project here on the content folder i create a new folder call it movies double click on it and i will drag and drop the video file and the audio file both on the content browser just like that so now we have two files the first one is the file media source right here this is the video and here when you double click on it you will see this uh, warning over here the selected media will not get packaged because it's path point to outside the project content movies folder so on here copy both of this file i'll paste it on the content here to movies paste it just like that import and now we have to create a media player component so right, right click on the content browser on the media here click on the media player check the video output media texture asset this will automatically create the media texture file for you click ok i'll name this mp it stands for media player name this mp underscore video as you can see it will create this uh, media texture asset also double click on it now select this video the file media source file that we have created before and you cannot play the um, video file that's a good sign we can click save click save now i'll create a new uh, user interface right click user interface widget blueprint user widget wbp underscore let's say video play video double click on it and here you can drag the media texture here to the um widget here but before that we have to create a canvas panel an overlay overlay and here i can drag the media texture file just like that make it full screen clicking on these two button over here now you're good to go compile and save go back to this level here click on this one open level blueprint here right click i'll type event begin play create a new widget so create widget on the class here choose the wbp underscore video on the return value here just add to viewport just like that pretty easy compile now you can test the game out here you will see the video start playing so that's a pretty easy fix go to uh, wbp underscore video here graph you can create a new variable name this a uh, media player this will be type media player Compile here, choose the media player to the MP and underscore video. Compile. Now on the even construct here, drag off a media player. Type play. Yep. Here, let's create a delay. Make it like maybe 0 0.01, should be fine. Compile. Oops, before that, I have to set the source, sorry. Ah, oh, open source. Okay, the media source will be your video here. Drag this to the play, but play note here. Compile. Play. Now, as you can see, the video is playing, but without any sound. So now, let's fix it. Okay, go back to this uh, blueprint over here. On here, you can play sound 2D. Play sound 2D will be the uh, video underscore audio here that you have converted before. Let's try again compile play the game 
So here you can hear and see the movie and the sound is playing. So that's a pretty good sign. So let's head to the next uh, implementation, which is uh, show the video in the level. In the level here, I can create a, a plane, I guess. I can rotate it by 90 degrees and I will increase the size. Maybe like this to make it like a cinema looking, you know, aspect ratio. And on this uh, media texture file, you can right click and create material. Just drag and drop this into the plane here. When you click play. And here, you'll see that the video is not playing. Here on the third person map over here, you can create a new variable. The same thing, media player. This will be type media player component. Here, I can open the source. Make, make a delay, 0.01. Media source will be the video. And we can play. Compile. Play. I forgot to set the media player variable here on the default value. Change to zoom MP underscore video, compile, and play. Now, as you can see, the video is playing, but again, it has no sound and the video aspect ratio is off a bit. So I can rotate it right, like this, 90 degrees. Make it like that, increase the size a little bit. Sorry. Yep. And now to add a sound, we can just drag and drop this video audio, this sound wave, to the level. Just like that, and we have a working video player inside our level. You can put it inside a television screen or a computer screen at any surface that you want. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this video helps you guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.